hey y'all what's going on um i'm here to do a video today on um something that um you might think is a little off topic from the mandela effect but if you give me a moment you'll see how it just might connect i said might connect because i'm not a hundred percent sure but i'm like 99.92 .9 percent sure that it connects okay what inspired me to do this video is um, a couple of days ago, I saw um, a couple of people on the comment section um, having a conversation about this topic. And um, they were going through some things with their bodies, um, likewise other things around them um, that just was really freaking them out. They weren't used to it. Okay, so... um shouldn't be smacking like that sorry y'all um so um I reached out to them and um you know told them I'd probably do a video on this <clears throat> subject because I really do think it is very much inly connected with the Mandela effect it was the first thing that I thought about when um I started um really noticing changes so on with this um i'm not sure what i'm gonna title this but it should say something about ascension or something like that in there so this might be a little bit of a lengthy video um but it'd be quite informative all right um basically ascension um symptoms are symptoms that a lot of people are having likewise myself and um, I started experiencing a few years ago with my spiritual awakening. Um, and some people are experiencing these symptoms and, you know, they're not trying to have these symptoms. You know, they're not trying, they're, they're not doing anything really, uh, you know, spiritual in practice, I'll say. Um, which is quite interesting to me. So I'm thinking, oh, maybe these, there, maybe these are people that's just very loving beings, or maybe they have some other beings looking out for them. And yes, this is going to sound very crazy because this is some out of the world, out of this world type of shit. And, um, I don't really talk about this with people, normal everyday people, because people will think you're fucking nuts. So that is why. <clears throat> but um, basically, uh, this website I have right here, it, you can go there, www.ascensionsymptoms.com, or you can go to Google, and you can do a Google search on Ascension Symptoms, or you can just look for them on YouTube. It's a lot of people that um, talks about it on their YouTube videos okay and you're not just gonna see these videos you have to specifically kind of look for this stuff because um the context of the material um anyhow some things that um they were talking about in the comment section they were experiencing was things like they're not getting um hungry um they have a lot of energy they can't sleep yet you know, they might sleep a couple of hours, you know, three or four hours or whatever throughout the night and they're still full of energy. They can get up at the same time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, synchronicities like seeing numbers like one, 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 two, two, two all the time or thinking about somebody. Then that person called them. Um, so they were just kind of talking about things like that. And that's when I reached out to them and said, hey, I'm going to make this video because I know it's other people out there and they probably don't know what this is called. They probably don't know what to turn to um, or what have you. Um, so just a little bit about me before I get into it. And um, again, like I said, this might be a little lengthy. I grew up a Christian gal in the Bible Belt in the good old South. And... Um, Basically, I knew something was wrong when they wanted me to eat the, eat the body and the blood of Jesus. I just was like, something ain't right about this. Something, something, something not right. But, you know, when you're with your parents, you have to praise and worship whatever they do. So I went to church like a good little girl, and um, I enjoyed it quite a bit. It helped quite a lot with a lot of things in my life. However, I was drawn 
to the occult when I was very, very, very young, okay? And um, I think because in a past life, this is where it gets crazy. Um, I may have been a sorcerer, a witch, or, 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 or something to the sort, some type of magi, magician, something. And um, <clears throat> I remember coming home and uh, I was about in the second or third grade with some books on magic, on how to do magic. And my mom kind of blasted me and said, what the hell are you doing here? You know, you're going to go to hell and die in the flames of God and, you know, all of this. And I'm going to tell the preacher and I'm going to tell, you know. So it scared me half to death. And um, I just didn't bother messing with the occult. But I was very much in the drawn to it when I was young. And so um, the programming began. <laughs> you know, the school, the education system, the government, the military, um, the religion, and so forth and so forth. TV, music, etc. Um, so I became a drone, like pretty much probably all of you are. Or, or maybe you guys wore, depending where you are now. You know, well, we basically get up, go to work, eat, sleep, shit, work from nine to five, come home and tired, don't have time for the family, and I'm um, do it all again tomorrow. Yay! You know, life's beautiful. <laughs> okay, um, so that was basically my story. Okay, and then several years ago, I woke the fuck up and I said, wait a minute, I don't understand this shit. Well, if something's not right, you know, I, I really need this connection with God. I need to know who the fuck God is. And um, I'm not going to go into much detail, but basically I prayed and said, God, who the fuck are you? You know what I'm talking about? Um, I'm tired of the bullshit. You know, it's like 40,000 different denominations of fucking uh, Jesus freaks out there. You know, I'm one of them. And um, we're all going to go to hell because only one of us have to have it right. You know, because how can 40,000 different denominations of Christianity all have it right? You know, we all believe different things. So basically, I went on a spiritual journey. Now, <clears throat> to ascension symptoms. <laughs> um, through my spiritual journey, I started to find out a lot about history, where religions came from, that man really made it up, et cetera, et cetera. It's for enslavement and control of the masses. And that um, they're the real magic the real stuff the real power is outside of these things um and it's hidden and that's where you get the word occult it's just hitting uh, hidden information remember knowledge is power they tell you that all the time but they don't want you to have the knowledge or the power now here we come on <laughs> on to the ascension symptoms y'all so um i started having um experiences where i um i was more I always kind of had deja vus but I would have more deja vus I would l lucid dream um meaning I would wake up inside of my dreams I would know and realize I was dreaming and then I would take con control of the dream and do what I wanted to do in the dream I would manifest in the dream um I um astral travel which is um like when you leave your you're not leaving your body, but everybody does it late at night. And um, when they go to sleep, their consciousness leaves their body, sort of kind of like to say. And so you don't remember it. OK, and you have to literally train yourself so that you remember your experiences. But you can do all kinds of things when you're asked to travel. OK, like go to different planets, go to different worlds, go to your friend's house, tell them what it was doing the next day. And they say, well, how the hell you knew that? And you was just like a ghost there. It's like your spirit is there. Your consciousness is there. And so you can go into astral worlds through your lucid dreams and all this kind of stuff. Um, so I started experiencing um, vibration, higher frequencies. I started experiencing um, not hanging out with my old friends. I just, we didn't have anything in common. I wasn't hating on them. I loved them, you know, for who they were. I wasn't trying to stop them from being who they are. But I had to back the fuck away um, because we just didn't have anything in common anymore. They were into a lot of stupid shit. I still like stupid shit, but not on the level that they do. And um, it's like you raise your frequency, you raise your vibration when you're getting spiritually in tune. Um, eating meat was uh, 
a nasty experience. <laughs> like you can actually taste the death on um, animals. Um, and like you can taste the blood. And I mean, it's fully cooked meat. and But it's just so gross and it's just so fucking disgusting. It's like something just slaughtered that animal right there. And now you're eating it and it's just gross and it turns you off. Um, these things I'm mentioning are ascension symptoms, by the way. Um, and these are some of the things that they said that they were um, experiencing. Um, again, I had deja vu all my life. And I always had prophetic dreams always I mean to the point where I mean my friends will ask me did you dream about blah 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 I will call them and say hey girl you better do this or you better not do that your man is cheating on you this is how she look blah 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 I mean I know it all because it's in my dreams um so I always had um those things but it just kind of amplified you know with when I believe you know I started doing spiritual um, work, you know, meditations and learning about other um, spiritual systems and uh, prayers and more occult knowledge, alchemy, um, stuff like that. <clears throat> now, um, I want to just kind of go through this here online and um, I want to help some people because I can tell you right now, it may, it, it, it is a little scary, especially if you're not around somebody who can help you out like, you know, your best friend, your mom, your dad. And more than likely, they probably, you know, it's just, it's really hard to find people that's um, <clears throat> doing these things, practicing these things, experiencing these things. Because like I said, some people, they're not even trying to, um, you know, raise their frequency, their vibration. They're not trying to be spiritually enlightened. They're not trying to learn uh, the Book of Thoth and, the, you know, the hermetic laws of the universe and dark matter and dark energy and how to do magic and, you know, crystals and tarot cards. They're not doing that and they're still experiencing. Some people still are experiencing these things, which is wonderful. You must have been a wonderful magi in a past life. <laughs> but anyways, I digress as usual, y'all. Okay, so anyways, um, I just want to show you guys um, some of these um, ascension symptoms here. Um, and I'm going to tell you, even as I'm talking to you guys right now, my head is freaking killing me from that. I mean, from time to time, you'll just go through weeks of um, experiences of just like what we call downloads or upgrades from beings or from um, nature like the sun um giving you downloads and information so that you can um transform with the planet because we're at that time where the planet she's going through her period y'all and um we got to know how to flow with her ass okay because if we don't boop, <laughs> we're not going to be able to survive with the frequency we're going to be left behind as the bible talks about in the apocalypse which is the unveiling and um yeah, we'll be left behind in the third dimension, you know, not die and Lucifer, the God of the hell, hell is going to get us. No, not that. Um, but not experience a better, wonderful, you know, life. OK, we'll get into that later. But if you're still with me and I hope you are, here we are um, on this website is just talking about what is um, signs and symptoms as associated with a. Uh, um ascension okay and basically it says here ascension involves the acceleration of vibrational energy and the expansion of your awareness mandela effect which creates a shift in the consciousness when a particular life system raises its vibrationary state from one energetic state of being realm or existence to another higher one it is ascending so simply put, it's like tuning into a particular radio station frequency. You can't hear a particular station unless you're tuned all the way in. Okay, so let's go down. I'm going to let y'all read. Um, just go to ascensionsymptoms.com. You can read all that stuff right there. Um, but basically, um, like this says, um, as you move through ascension process, there may be periods where energy and symptoms become much more intense for several days or weeks at a time. This is true, y'all. Um, then suddenly they'll just cease for a while. Um, they may change or shift in intensity or frequency. 
Uh, the ascension experience is different for everyone and symptoms can vary, okay, depending on um, your spiritual practice, personal vibrations, and your individual purpose on the planet. So here are some of the signs and symptoms. You just know or sense that something is happening and changing around you. You just feel different for reasons that you can't explain. And um, if you're experiencing the Mandela effect, do I need to explain that? I think fucking not. Okay, then um, stomach and digestive issues, IBS, gastrointestinal problems, loss of appetite, periods of unexplained nausea. Um, and this is due to the fact that your body is upgrading to um, be able to live into in the next dimension because you're no longer going to be in 3D. Some people, as I understand it, you know, four, fifth, sixth dimension, you know, will all still be here. Like I can physically touch you, see you, smell you, taste you. Well, you know, maybe not that deep, but you know, you can interact with me. I can interact with you, but we're, we're in two different frequencies. We're in two different worlds. We're in two different realities. Um, what affects your reality does not affect my reality. And um, that's one reason why you definitely want to leave and shift over because um, when the hatred gets get cranked up, you won't be affected by it. Um, when some things that's about to go down goes down on the planet, you won't be affected by it. OK, because you're not in that world. Technically, you're not in that world, <clears throat> though you'll be able to see, you know, and they, everyone be able to see each other. But anyways, OK, let's go on. Um, sudden changes in body temperature. Increased sensitivity or intolerance to heat or cold. Abnormal heat or cold in certain body parts. I experience that all the fucking time, especially when I wake up. I'm sweating. I used to think I was fucking getting real old. I mean, I am, you know, an older woman. I'm almost 40. Okay, but... You know, I this shit been going on for like 10 fucking years. Like, I wake up in the middle of the night. I'm dripping with sweat. My heart is palpitating like a motherfucker. Like, God damn, I need to go to the fucking emergency room. What the fuck is wrong with me? Head is about to fucking explode. Okay? And um, your body temperature, I mean, you are just burning up hot. Sometimes you're cold. You know, it's just really like, what the fuck? I know I ain't got no shit. Now, I know a nigga ain't give me no shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? So... You know, that's something that some people um, experience, okay? Um, cold or flu-like symptoms that appear and then disappear just as suddenly um, without escalating. Frequent headaches. I'm going through that right now. I mean, oh my God, my crown chakra is just going boom, 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 boom. It's just going fucking crazy. And my third eye. Okay, that's the pineal gland. Okay, that's our um, sixth sense. That's our psychic center. Okay, um, but anyways, you'll have frequent headaches, head pressure, and other unusual sensations in the crown area. Warm, tingling, pulsating energy, and you can feel it too. Um, you have an increase in sensitivities of smells, strange smells from time to time that seem to come from nowhere. And you'll have sinus and allergy issues. Oh my God, when I first, first started, I was allergic to every fucking thing, y'all. I went to the doctor. I had to go to specialists. I mean, I know what the fuck was wrong with me. They did a test on my fucking back with 150 different things. Um, because I just, I would just bust out in rashes. Everything I ate, everything I touched, everything. This went on for literally for like three or four years. It was a living fucking hell you know what i'm saying your body all of a sudden have these rashes and shit on it and you're, you're you're itching and i mean i would take about 10 benadryl a day i slept all day long because i had to have relief it was so horrible and um nobody could help me the doctor nobody could help me it just it wasn't working and i did not know then about this okay but now i know about it so if you guys are experiencing that then that's probably some ascension symptoms um, I mean, I literally was allergic to people would walk by me with perfume. I break out <laughs> everything I put in my mouth, even fruits and vegetables. I broke out because it's not organic. Your body 
is made for organic stuff. And when you're going through these changes, all this fake ass shit we have around us, this GMO foods, this chemtrails in the air, all the diseases that they're just spreading around us and stuff, y'all. So, you know, the fluoride in the water, you know, just everything in it, it's just fucking you up and your body saying, uh-uh, uh-uh, I can't take this shit. You know, I'm trying to fucking ascend. You feel me? So, yeah, that was some years of hell for me personally. Um, strange smells. Yes, I do smell strange smells. And usually that's spirits um, or other beings that's coming around you. And you can kind of sometimes, you know, you know, when you're sitting somewhere, you're hanging out, whatever. And, you know, you feel that shift in the air, y'all. Um, like, uh, you know, somebody's watching you. Or you know somebody's by you, you feel their energy, you know, and sometimes a smell will be accompanied by it. Maybe it's your ancestor, maybe it's your grandma that died or your best friend or your pet or, you know, it could be any kind of being, you know what I mean? But um, that's what they're saying. Now you'll smell things um, that come from anywhere. And yes, um, increased um, sensitivity and smell. Everybody says, oh my God, you have the best freaking nose in the world. Like to me, it's normal to me. Like, okay, like you can't smell that. But everybody says that um, I'm weird and how the hell do I be smelling what I be smelling? Um, I literally, like even the weather, I can tell when before I knew about chemtrails, I knew I, I would go outside and I would smell this horrible smell. Okay, and I still smell it, and I, I really think that's what it's come from. Um, I can tell when it's going to rain. I smell the rain. I can smell stuff in the air. <laughs> so if you're experiencing that, you're probably going through some type of ascension um, symptoms. Okay, changes in vision and in perception. You'll catch glimpses of shadows, mist, smoke, flashes of light, sparkles, colors, swirling forms of energy. Yes, especially outside. I definitely experience these things and um, it's pretty, pretty cool. I can see the actual atoms. Um, I think pretty much anybody can see the atoms. If you just go outside and look at the blue sky and just stare and just get in a trance like state like a meditative state um sometimes you don't even have to get that deep into it you can just see the atoms just bouncing around through doing their thing and then um you can also see energy waves just coming at you just <laughs> coming at you but anyways yes that's something that um you will see also when it comes to spirits and things like that um you might see something be like I could have swore I saw something. No, I ain't seen nothing <laughs> on the side of you. You know, I thought I saw something move or, you know, and it, it usually is a being and um, nothing to fear, nothing to worry about. But yeah, that's just you. Um, your your pineal gland is on fleek. It's on point. It's waking the fuck up and it want to see them beings in other dimensions and it want to do telepathy. It wants to talk to your spirit guides. It wants to talk to your ins it, it, all of that. So it's seeing those things. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, changes in hearing or sensitivity to sound, hearing strange noises, tones, frequencies in your ears, buzzing, whooshing, ears popping in pressure all the fucking time. Um, I did not know why the fuck that was happening. And um, you can still, you know, I personally believe it's when um, a spirit or some type of being. And when I say that, because it might not be a spirit like a demon, it might not be an angel, it might not be a um a dead person that's just kind of walking the fuck around and, you know, haven't left this plane. It might be a different type of a being, like an interdimensional type of a being or something like that, but um you can feel the shift in the air, you know, especially if you meditate, you can you'll start being aware of things going on around you. And um, you'll be able to tell, like, wait a minute, hold the fuck up. I feel that shift in the air. Something is in this room with me right now. <laughs> uh, something is here. I feel you. You know what I mean? And, um, <clears throat> yeah, and with that, you'll get these things in your, like, the popping or the, um, like, the white noise sound or, you know, just different things like that going on. And, um yeah, I definitely have um, experienced that. I always experience, like, hell, almost every day. But I work with crystals and shit, too. So that also kind of um, works with that. But if you're hearing that, 
you're probably experiencing some ascension symptoms. Okay, then they have periods when you feel extremely cold for long periods of time. Or you have a chill in your body, your hands, your feet, um, and you have circulation issues. Guys, let me say this real quick as well. If you guys understand, and I'm probably going to have to do talk about this later in another video. But just real quick, if you notice a lot of this stuff is physical. And if you look at your commercials nowadays, and Pfizer has a fucking pill for almost all of these things. Because they know that you are ascending. They do not want you to fucking ascend. You will no longer be a slave to them in the matrix. Do you understand? You will no longer make them money. You will no longer be busy trying to hustle for their fucking jobs while they're out on fucking vacation. Having a good time out at the Beach, doing shit while you're running their fucking businesses and their fucking stores okay so they're trying to make sure that these symptoms you have that they know you're ascending and they're trying to shut that shit down they're trying to shut down your pineal gland they're trying to shut your shit down y'all don't let them put you on cold lock the fuck down don't get on lockdown okay you need to go on ahead and go through it let your body go through the fucking motions okay even your kids may be experiencing this stuff let their bodies go through the fucking motions man do not disturb your children do not you know what i'm saying you can try to help them out a little bit you know what i'm saying teach them how to meditate or teach them how to pray or teach them you know what i'm saying how to go out into nature which is one of the best things to do but don't give your babies or give yourself vaccines, shots, pills, or anything else for any of these symptoms. You're just going to have to deal with them. At the end of the day, you'll be good to go. <laughs> okay. Um, changes in diet, appetite, and eating habits and cravings um, are aversions for certain foods. Unexplained weight gain or loss. That's very true. Um, For me, I had weight gain and damn weight loss. It's just like a... Uh, some this week is like this and then seven months from now you know you're eating and then three months you know and then you don't want to eat meat and then it's just like a real strange crazy thing your body is getting adjusted to whatever the fuck is it, you know is coming in your body is getting ready it's getting ready and um yeah okay so um Sudden intolerances and allergies to certain foods, other products, chemicals, sensitivities. I just told y'all about that. Changes in sleep patterns, waves of extreme fatigue that come and go unexpectedly, periods, periods of restlessness, of insomnia, a need for more or less sleep than normal. Y'all, this is true. Um, sometimes I like I haven't been asleep in about hell. I didn't go to sleep last night. Um, I went to sleep the night before I got up probably about, I usually get up about five or six o'clock in the morning. So I've been up <laughs> for, you know, about 40 hours, something like that. And I'm good to go. I mean, I'm still good. I just went outside, took a little walk and everything. You know, um, you'll just have energy. You know, um, you don't have to sleep. Spirits don't have to sleep. Consciousness don't have to sleep. Your body does need to rest because it's a human, you know, body but you don't really you don't have to sleep you don't have to do that um that is programming once again go to bed by eight o'clock yeah so you can go to their fucking job and slave the fucking death that's why you want them to go to bed by eight fucking o'clock right okay but um the nighttime is the best time to be up for me but anyways um yeah then i'll have times where i just i feel so lazy and so lethargic and I feel like something has just sucked all the life out of me and I just go have to go to fucking sleep I just I just have to lay down and just be lazy and um I didn't understand why I actually had to go to the hospital for this y'all um and the doctors they didn't understand why my blood everything was just going fucking crazy and here's the thing when you go to the doctor they're not going to see anything because this is a spiritual thing y'all this is not a physical thing a doctor can't help you but you go to your doctor because you might have a physical issue that they can help you with you know but if it's a spiritual issue they're not going to be able to help you you're just going to have to ride it out you're going to have to ride it out ask your spirit guys for help on how to deal with it give you some dreams tell you what to do you know or something your higher self whatever you do <laughs> okay but um yeah so you know, you may have those sleeping patterns, um, but you just sleep all day or, um, 
you know, like that teenager sleep too. You know what, I'm, what the fuck I'm talking about. You know that teenager sleep on goddamn Saturdays and Sundays when they're out of school, that kind of sleep. Like you just feel drained. And then you have other times like I am now, like I'm up, I'm rocking, I'm popping, I'm blah, 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 blah. And I ain't even been asleep in about 40 goddamn hours. You know, it's just, it's really weird. It's really weird. Okay, um, let's go on to the next one. Um, sporadic sleep schedules, waking up in the middle of the night, especially around 3 a.m., unusual dreams, um, more lucid dreams. And again, I think I explained lucid dreams. Um, yeah, this happens a lot. This happens a fucking a lot, okay? I would advise anybody that's having lucid dreams to get books on lucid dreaming, um, to go to YouTube, look up videos on lucid dreaming, um, let me see if you know anybody that does it, just ask them what they do when they lucid dream, how to do things. Um, cause you can do anything in a lucid dream. Uh, you can bring in characters into your dream that you want to, let's say you want to talk to Michael Jackson. You can bring him right into your fucking dream and say, what's up, Mike, how you doing? <laughs> let's say, you know, you're having a scary dream. You can totally change the dream and, um, all the characters just fall away. Or let's say you want to have a sexual dream. I mean, you know, hell, sometimes I'll be on a lower frequency, y'all. And, um, you know, you can create whatever you want to create when you are lucid dreaming. And that's the whole point. You can create whatever you, whatever you want to create. You can manifest things like money. You can manifest things like good health. You can manifest things like um, relationships. You can um, manifest things. You can talk to people. You can, you can do a lot. And, um... One of my favorite things is flying. I love to float and I love to fly when I'm astral um, traveling and when I'm lucid dreaming. But you need to get a book on that and um, so you can learn about it and uh, probably get into some other things um, past lucid dreaming. Okay, because you can do these things now and you'll probably be able to remember them and everything if you really put some effort into it. And hell, even if you don't put effort into it, I mean, really, the planet is at a point where we can do shit, y'all, that we just couldn't do before. You know what I mean? It, we just can, you know? We are fucking X Men, y'all. We are Superman. We are, um, he man, we are She-Ra. We are the Jedi. We are those people. It's just been shut the fuck down. You know what I'm saying? Since we was we were kids. And if you think about it in your head and think about some things that you thought about in your head when you were kids, if you heard voices, if you saw things and stuff like that, you were very much connected to the spiritual because you had just come from God, the universe, the source, whatever you want to call that power, that wonderful power. And you were so connected. But then guess what happened? Your mama and daddy. Yeah, that's right. And then your preacher. Yep. And then your teachers at school. Yeah, that's what happened. And so, yeah, so you got fucked. Okay, but that's okay. You can still um, ascend. You can still get your powers back. <clears throat> okay. Increase in daydreaming, fantasies, flashes of insights, visions, increase creativity, imagination. Hey, it's time to make a book. It's time to come up with an invention. It's time to draw a painting. Okay, you can get super creative and things like that. I think that's why I like the nighttime. For some reason, I get really creative. It's something about the nighttime. I think it's the dark matter or the energy or something like that. Maybe it's the moon. <coughs> I don't know, but um, I just don't think I'm that creative as of a person in the daytime as I am at nighttime. It's like all these thoughts and all these um just uh thoughts and um creations just coming in my mind so but it says here that um you will increase in your fantasies imaginations and things and that's good because if you want to get into other things like um occult knowledge or magic then it'll be good to have a good imagination for visualization so that you can manifest things that you want whether it be a car or a house or a husband or a wife or a baby mama, <laughs> whatever you want. So, um, yeah, that's good to have. Okay, intense waves of heat throughout the body. Hot flashes, chills, night sweats, feeling extremely hot, waves, warming energy, and various chakra centers. Now, if you're not familiar with chakras, you're going to have to get some books or something on that. I definitely can't talk about that in this um, video. That's a whole nother level, but it's basically just energy centers in the body, and they help with the um, kundalini, 
help with you um being more spiritually in tune i'll leave it at that for now but it's so much to talk about with chakras so definitely check that stuff out definitely look that stuff up um definitely it's all over youtube you know check it out <clears throat> but yeah it says that you'll have those and i just mentioned that um about the hot flashes and stuff when i told you i, I know i'm young y'all i know i'm not you know that damn old you know <laughs> so anyways here we go the next thing says increase static electric charge in your body you'll feel energy zaps tingles itching pin pricks muscle spasm twitches that occur sporadically in certain parts of the body they dead on the head on the point um right now i have a statical electrical charge going all throughout my body and it just got me like it just feels crazy and this has been going on for a couple of days like um it doesn't hurt but it's like you can feel something going you can feel like juice electric juice going up and down and throughout your body throughout your back throughout your spine you can feel it so um yeah i definitely have to say you know if you're feeling this stuff you know your doctors they're not gonna they're not gonna see this they're not gonna they're not gonna notice this um, I don't know if this will help, but, um, you know, bananas help with muscle spasms as far as like leg, leg cramps and stuff like that. Oh, Charlie horses. That's what it is. The Charlie horses. I have a lot of those. And so I have to eat a lot of bananas. And, um, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I didn't know that's probably why I was having them. But, okay, that's probably why I'm having them. Um, but yeah, so you'll just feel electricity throughout your body, you know what I'm saying? And it kind of shake you a little bit, depending on how hard it is. Sometimes it's kind of soft and gentle, subtle, you don't notice it. And sometimes it's really a little more intense than that. Okay, general body aches and pains, tension and soreness. That's not caused by injuries and exercise. That's pretty much self-explanatory. You feel like you got beat the fuck up and you don't even know why. What, what the fuck happened, right? Clumsiness, lack of coordination at times, bumping into, dropping objects, often dizziness, and feeling ungrounded. Yes. Um, something that's good for that um, is to use crystals, any type of black crystal. Um, I can say some things, but you probably don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like um, black obsidian, um, black tourmaline, um, pretty much any kind of a black or grounding crystal will help you feel grounded. You can also um, go to trees, go to Mother Nature, put your feet in the grass, touch trees and make a connection and just put um, suck energy from from the trees and um it will also help to ground you okay so you can come back to earth so to say because um yeah that happens a whole lot with me um and let me say this y'all i noticed that in the past like 15 years or something a lot of people have been experiencing panic attacks like on a whole nother level and I didn't know at that time, but now I think it's because of ascension symptoms because people, they just started getting it from out the blue. Um, I myself started getting, it's like, wait a minute. I never was a person that was getting anxiety and panic attack. That wasn't that person. And now it's like, okay, I'm always getting them. You know what I'm saying? And it's usually around the time where you getting downloads and um, you'll know when that is. But um, yeah, so Again, don't get on these prescription medicines. Again, you don't have to do all of that. Um, for me, when I start getting anxiety, panic, panic attacks, I go to a tree and I ask that tree, can I please, please, please give you some of this energy? And I take my feet off and I'm bare, my shoes off and I'm barefoot. And I just put myself in that thing and I just let Mother Earth take all that energy. And y'all, let me tell you something. You can feel that energy leaving your body and in about five, ten minutes, you're done. You're good. It's like the perfect pill for panic attacks and anxiety because it's just a lot of energy in you. Okay. You might have a lot of built up energy in you. So just do that. And, um be nice to the tree and the tree will be nice back to you okay um what's next sporadic bursts of increased energy or inspiration feeling hyperactive or frantic energy panic attacks oh we was just talking about that accelerated mental energy racing scattered thoughts here we go y'all what's that disease called what's that disease is it add it, wait, 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 no is it adhd wait, wait, wait no is it OCD? Wait, 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 wait. No, you, you know, they have so many new diseases out here now, y'all. It's not fucking diseases, y'all. If y'all got y'all kids on medicine, 
No, 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 no. Take them out into nature. Let them put that energy. Let them fucking play. Play, you know, back in the day when my kids was little, you take them to the park. You take them to be with their friends. You take them out and you chill. You get you a book and you watch them on the playground and you watch them play on the swing and you watch them play on the slides or whatever for a couple hours. And you let them have fun and just drain all that damn energy out of them. And that's all the Ritalin that they need. They don't need to fuck up. Don't don't fuck your kids up with this Ritalin and all this goddamn medicine and shit. Ain't nothing wrong with them children. Ain't nothing wrong. Fives are just trying to make fucking money and they're trying to s- shut down, shut them down in this fucking matrix. They don't want them to leave this goddamn matrix. So, um, no, and you too, because even now they're saying, oh, adults have ADD and ADHD and well, motherfucker, you want a bitch to work 25 jobs and shit, then go to school, then, you know, goddamn, of course thoughts gonna race through your mind all goddamn day, which is why we have to meditate as well, y'all. I know this video is going so damn long. I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't trying to make the video so, so long, but I just really, I know how it is when you, um, going through these things and... You don't have nobody to talk to. You know, um, nobody can help you. You know what I'm saying? And things like that. So um, I appreciate y'all for still hanging in here with me. Those of you who have and those of you who haven't. Well, I guess you're not hearing me now. <laughs> but I just want to make sure that you guys are good to go. Um, unexplainable nervousness, anxiety that comes and goes spontaneously for no apparent reason. Again, panic attacks anxiety attacks feeling intense unusual vibrations experiencing pulsating rushing waves of energy tingling sensations pressure through the body at specific areas your chakra centers again find a book on that um go on youtube uh, plenty of people um have a lot of information on chakras and um you'll find out what those places are but yes you will feel some serious vibrations going on they're just upgrading Extreme sens- sensitivity, feeling over emotional, episodes of crying for no apparent reason, or bouts of hysterical laughter for no apparent reason. Y'all, if y'all see that commercial with that goddamn black dude, um, what's his name? Is it Samuel Jackson? No, it's the dude that played on um, Mister on the goddamn fucking color. Danny Glover. Danny Glover. I can't. Y'all know what? I can't stand his ass after that damn movie. He's such a good actor. Okay, that I don't like nothing he playing anymore. <laughs> How he treated Seeley and them. But anyways, he's got a commercial where um, Pfizer got him selling some goddamn pills. Talking about if you laugh out of control um, or if you cry from out of nowhere, y'all, those people are going through ascension fucking symptoms. Ain't nothing wrong with those people. Do not get on this fucking medication. These motherfuckers ain't no good, y'all. They ain't no fucking good. I'm telling you now. Don't get on that shit. You're seeing it right here. That's why you're experiencing it. Okay? And I experience it all the time. Oh, I think they call it bipolar too. And they have other little um psychological shit, you know what I'm saying, that they do to shut you down. Okay, no, you're not crazy. You're good. You're okay. Go and hug a fucking tree. Like I said, go to the beach. Go and walk on the beach. Go and walk in um barefoot. Walking barefoot on the earth will always ground you. It will take all that energy up out of you. You'll feel, you'll be all right. And as far as your emotions, you're dealing with some shit <clears throat> that um, happened in your childhood. You know, when you got bullied, when, you, when your mama cussed you out, when your friend beat you up, you know, um, you're going through things, okay? And I'm the type of bitch, and I, let me just, I don't like really showing emotions and things, y'all, but... When I be going through this, oh, my God, I'll just cry out of the blue for no fucking reason. Like, you'll think a bitch is crazy. And it's like, you know, people who know me be like, you don't even cry. Like, what you crying for? That's just a fucking commercial of a goddamn a baby on a tissue. Like, I don't know. It's just I feel like I'm pretty crazy. I just I'm crazy. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know what it was. <laughs> it's ascension symptoms. That's what it is. You're not fucking crazy. Your body. It's going through some stuff and it's trying to work things out because you don't want to have those blockages, your emotional blockages and your chakras are it's going to be really hard to fucking ascend. OK. All right. On to the next. Um, periods of intense frustration, anger, rage, short tempered, easily agitated or impatient. I just had a situation like that, y'all. I went the fuck off on my daughter and I was like, why the fuck? 
oh my God, I'm not like this person. Like, I'm a turn to a person, okay? I'm a Leo, so I turns the fuck up, okay? But I, I just was, for some reason, I just had this anger. And I was like, ah. And I said, okay, it could be the super moon because it was around the time that super moon was out. You know what I'm saying? And I know that moon has a huge effect on people. I mean, it has an effect on our periods. It has an effect on... um the tides and the ocean it, ha it has an effect on people's psyche it is um it's part of our psyche you know what i'm saying well we're our planets are part of us but it's part of the psyche so it was a super moon so i was going fucking crazy for a couple of days and it's like what the fuck i knew something was wrong with me so that's why i was like honey daughter please i don't know what the fuck is wrong with me just please bear with me i'm sorry for yelling and acting a damn fool Okay, so anyways, yeah, so I'm not, I, I didn't even know that's what it was, so it could have been that, um, while I was acting damn crazy, um, frustrated, short temper, anger, rage, um, agitated, it's just like every little thing was agitating me, y'all, like, oh, get out my face, isn't, and that's just not me, I'm not like that, you know, I can, and when in Rome, do as the Romans do, even if I don't like it, I mean, I'm pretty cool. So, yeah, you might, if you're going through that, you might be having some ascension situations. Okay, moments where you experience increase in heart rates out of the blue, unusual sensations in the heart chakra area. Y'all, yes, this is very intense. I guess everybody may be different, but I know for me and um, uh, my daughter, especially, um, we've been experiencing that since we were kids. And it feels like somebody may be stabbing you in your chest. I went to the doctor when I was a little girl, as a teenager, even as an adult, and they can never find out what it is. And then my daughter started experiencing when she was young, too. And they just, they can't find out what it is. And I didn't know way back then, but um, I found out when I started this several years ago that it was ascension symptoms. So if you feel like something's stabbing you in the chest, you're going to the doctor and they can't find out it's ascension symptoms. And um, it's crazy because you got to breathe a certain type of way and all that shit. And then you wake up in the middle of the night with heart palpitations going fucking crazy. It just feels like, oh my God, it just feels like, oh my God, hell, I just went through a bout of that about two hours ago. I mean... I don't know what it was, but it's just like my heart started going hard, hard, hard. It's just like, it goes hard. It's like, damn, what kind of crack am I on? I'm on some shit. And I ain't know I was on no shit. You know what I'm saying? That's how it, I, I'm assuming that's how I feel because I ain't do no crack. But um, yeah, it's really intense. You know what I'm saying? So if your kids are going through these things and things, you know, just be with them, help them, teach them, you know, meditation, drinking plenty of Try to get the best water that you can possibly get. You know what I'm saying? Try not to do it with fluorinated water. But if you have to, whatever. Plenty, plenty, plenty of water is needed when you're going through these bouts um, with your body. Okay. Unusual skin changes that come and go. There we go. Back to the um, rashes. We already discussed that. Hives, itching, tingles. Um, changes in hair, nail texture, color, rate of growth. Hair and nails may grow faster than normal. Feeling more drawn to be in nature and a more serene environment. So all of a sudden you feel like you want to go to the mountain. You feel like you want to go to the beach. You want to go to the river. You want to hang out at the park. You want to just lay out in the grass. Go and do it. Go and do it. Your body is telling you um, it needs something. It wants that. Your spirit wants that so badly. So do it. Okay, y'all. I think we almost done. Okay, a sudden increase in synchronicities, like saying 111 are reoccurring numbers. Um, that is so fucking true. Um, now I said that your spirit guides are talking to you. And um, now you can see them communicating with you. Until you fully open up your third eye and your pineal gland, you probably won't be able to hear them. You probably won't be able to see them. You might not even be able to feel them or have any kind of connection with them, even though they're there. But they'll let you know through synchronicities like that, that they are there. Um, likewise, if you think about a song and all of a sudden somebody walked by with it, um, with that song playing, or they might start singing it, or um, you start thinking about your friend and they call you. Or um, you start saying a sentence and the TV say the exact same sentence. Like these are different types of synchronicities and they do happen a whole lot. Okay. Um, abrupt changes with your job, friends, hobbies, interests, living environments, and strong urge to relocate. Y'all, this is a really hard part because um, it's true. It is very, it, it's life changing. Like um, 
you might decide the career that you was in. You really don't want to do that. You have a higher purpose and it's not that, you know, whether you know what it is or not, it's not that, or you don't want to hang around certain friends anymore. It just kind of cuts off ties with certain family members. Um, you might want to move to a whole nother state or a whole nother city that's quieter, that's away from, uh, like, I used to stay right in the midst of the city, y'all. I stay so far, I like, I'm out in the boondocks, like, I'm out there, I'm, you know, like, people don't like to visit. People don't come out here because it's just too fucking far, but it's so peaceful and it's so serene. And you know what? It's not all that energy, like all that negative energy bouncing around. You know what I mean? And I mean, you know, when you're in the city and you're around a whole lot of people, you're picking up on them, on their emotions, on their thoughts. You don't realize it. Even when you're not ascending, you don't realize it, but you're picking up on people's shit. You know, that's why you got to be careful who you fucking because you're picking up their entities, their demons. You're picking up their their spirit. You're picking up everything. You know what I'm saying? You're changing yourself. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> this is a hard part. You know what I'm saying? Of the changes you'll go through with your job, friends, family, moving, etc. Um, You might decide, oh, I don't want to play basketball anymore. I want to draw. I just want to, you know, I want to be a painter, you know. And, um, it, it's kind of hard on your family as well. I know it's kind of hard on my family because I just, I did like a whole 180 or whatever you want to call it. And it's just like, damn, the things I enjoyed then, you know, it's just like some mundane shit, you know, you know, it's just like, that's old. And this is what I enjoy now. You know, I don't want to go to a club, go to a club for what? It's nothing out there, but death It's the underworld. You know what I mean? I mean, I ain't going to nobody's goddamn church neither and get fucking programmed. You better believe that. But I mean, to be reading my books in the tub, just, you know, sipping a glass of wine. Sometimes I don't really drink or, um, sipping some water or whatever. Um, with some candles lit, reading me some good occult books, that is like, I'm there. Like, I can do that all day long, you know. It totally changes your life. And if you have a partner, if you have a husband, a wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, that's going to be something kind of hard for them to deal with, especially um, sexually, because some people, they have a huge increase in their sex drive. And other people have a, a, a dying <laughs> death. <laughs> Uh, type of situation going on with this sex drive so I mean it, it's a um it's it's something that everybody sort of around you that end up they end up having to deal with it so yeah I definitely agree with that okay back on here physically may feel unreal at times and external reality appears dreamlike at times okay I just saw a guy's video on Mandela effect and he was talking about how colors look real colorful I personally have not experienced that. I mean, I've seen the sun, like it looks white and um, it feels so good on my skin right now. But, um, I, you know, he was talking about um, seeing colors. I'm like, wow, this dude is really fucking ascending. Like, um, like they're really vivid to him. Um, so that's what they're talking about here. That things are like dreamlike, you know what I mean? You might see some shit glittering and say, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah it can get to that level okay increased self-talk or inner dialogue issues with your voice or speech um yeah I mean you want to talk to your higher self now you want to always you know what the fuck is going on who am I what's my purpose all that good shit a need for more personal space and alone time introversion hermit I know I'm a fucking hermit and um when I look at people like um, that's on YouTube and shit that, that have videos on this stuff, they are real harmony ish too. You know, I can get out, I can talk, I can chat, I can yeah, you know, all that with people and everything because I am a very extroverted person. Okay. But I do, I just like to be to myself. I just like to chill and I like to just be with me, you know, and that's it, you know. So it's just like, okay, you know. Um, Let's see the next one. A need, I'm sorry, feeling invisible, alienated, or detached from other people in the world around you. Okay, because they can't feel you. Y'all not on the same fucking vibration. You know what I'm saying? Again, they want to go to the club and hang out and get drunk all day long. You want to read an occult book. That's just my example. But I mean, I'm sure you have examples yourself. If you are going through these things, I'm sure you have some examples like that where you're, um, you're just detached. You're just detached. 
Okay, feeling lost or a sudden loss of your old identity and a calling to find your true self. That's what we were just talking about, right? <laughs> like you're trying to find out who the fuck am I? What's, why did I really come to this earth at this day and time? Okay, a deep, and, and, and let me tell you something. You're going to find some real crazy shit in your spiritual journey. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm not going to go deep into that. But yeah, you're going to find out who you are. You, you, you're going you, to you're gonna find some stuff okay a deep longing to go home even when you may not know where home is you know wanting to leave the planet wanting to leave this evil place wanting to leave this dense third dimension wanting to go home you know what i'm saying um i personally have not really experienced this a whole lot but um a lot of people i mean like that's all they talk about <laughs> so like um some people go through it like a lot so if you're going through that then you are definitely dealing with some ascension um symptoms a sense of urgency like you're running out of time or something is about to happen um you know you're experiencing some uh, ascension symptoms moments of heightened energy where you may receive channeled information or automatic writing um automatic writing you know like all of a sudden you just get inspired to write a book it's like, what the fuck? I don't even write books. You get inspired to write a song. You get inspired to write a poem or whatever, you know. Um, yeah, that's what automatic writing is. And you may get those things. Um, me, I get those things at nighttime. Like I said, that's when I get creative. Okay. Sudden lack of mental focus and ability to concentrate or comprehend linear information. Feeling scattered, brain fog, confused, forgetting things more often. Because you're tapping into your right brain. That's why. Linear information, that's your left brain, that's your logic brain. And so now you're getting into your right brain, your creative and imaginative brain, your feminine brain. Okay? You're getting into your spiritual side. All right? So, um... While it may feel confusing and crazy and brain fog and everything, you will eventually adjust. You will ground yourself. You'll get those crystals. You'll go in outside to Mother Nature. You'll ground yourself and you'll be okay. Okay, feeling ungrounded at times. Just talked about that. Scattered or spacey thoughts. Feeling detached or in a dream like trance. Time distortions. Loss of time. A sense that time is speeding up. Slowing down at various moments. Okay, I see a lot of people talking about that, um, you know, and it could be like today, today is going really, really fast, or it could be like, you know, this year went by so fast, it's like the new year now, so, you know, it's like, okay, or it could be going super slow for you. Okay, um, you begin to see halos of light around people, animals, objects, distorted, blurred vision, sensitivity to bright light. Or have more intense closed eye visions. Basically, you start seeing people's auras and stuff like that. Um, I personally haven't been. It depends on where the fuck you're at. Okay. If I can see your aura or whatever. You know, you have to be in a certain environment for me to see it. And it's, you know, I used to practice looking um, at people's auras. So, yeah, I could see it. But then um, I kind of slowed down in it and stuff. But yeah, so, but the way this is talking, you're not going to have to practice. <laughs> you're just going to be able to see people's auras. Okay. Increased telepathy with other people and animals, flashes of insight, increased intuition. Yes. All I can say is that shit is on the fucking point. Like you will not believe that you're a fucking psychic. Like all this time you was a psychic. Yep. You were, or you are, you are. Feeling that you have a divine purpose on the planet and that you are on a special mention. Again, didn't I tell you you're X-Men, you're She-Ra, you're He-Man, you're the Transformers, you're um, heroes, you're the Alpha, you're, you're, you're those TV things, you're the Jedi, okay? Yeah, you're Neo, you're in the Matrix, and you are fucking Neo, okay? You feel me? Got me, good. <laughs> okay, a pr profound feeling of love, peace, understanding, and interconnectedness with all things. I'm not at this level quite yet. <clears throat> but a lot of people do explain this, um, knowing we all are one and a connection with one. And they seem like the hippie type of people and ooh, we're all one, you know. Um, so you might start feeling like that. You are in ascension mode. 
Increased psychic awareness, sensitivity, clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, and intuition. We just talked about that. You are on point with your psychic stuff. And we talked about with synchronicities and things like that. I'm trying to hurry up before we get totally to an hour. But we might go a little over an hour. We're almost done, y'all. Okay. Um, Bizarre, intense dreams, prophetic dreams, precognitive dreams, dreamlike visions occurring more often. Okay. So, um, there we go with the astral dreaming, astral traveling, the, um, lucid dreaming. Okay. Dreams coming, come, coming true. Oh, deja vu y'all too. Also, they should have put that in there. Um, yeah, all that is going to be definitely on fleet. Electronic devices may malfunction in your presence. Like lights may flicker, bulbs burn out often. Um, I've dealt with that. It's moments like that, but I'm I'm practicing energy at the time. So I don't know if you practice energy stuff, then yeah, you'll probably have those issues trying to raise your energy or raise your vibration. Um, but the way they're talking, maybe it's just a natural thing that's going to happen without that. So if y'all got stuff flicking on and off, it might not be a ghost. It just might be you. <laughs> It just might be you. And again, remember, go ground yourself. Go and give that energy to Mother Earth and just put your feet deep in some soil and some dirt and just let her take all that energy. And then um, you won't have the lights flickering on and off. You won't drain the batteries so quickly. That's my issue. I drain batteries like a motherfucker. Like, oh, my God. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, damn. I shouldn't be draining no goddamn battery. I do energy work and shit. I be out in the sun. I I'm getting energy from the planet. Okay, a feeling that you're not alone or there is a non-physical presence near you, visits from angelic beings, from spirits, from ETs, messengers, and, in gu and guides. And we talked about that earlier when you feel that somebody's looking at you, you know, or you feel that shift. It, it feels like a something in the air. You know that song, I can feel it coming in the air at night. Okay, y'all, I definitely can't fucking sing. I just, you know what I'm saying. I love that song. It was the 80s songs. I forgot the dude name that sang it. But anyways, yeah, you can feel it in the air at night, baby. <laughs> um, experience, Experiencing sudden inspirations and divine revelations, rushes of energy and flashes of deep insight. All of a sudden, you just have the epiphanies. That's what it's called. You are going to get epiphanies, and it's going to be mind-blowing shit. And it's like, don't even worry about sharing it with people because they're not going to get it. That epiphany was for you, for you at that moment in time. Unless you're talking to people that's on your level, on your vibration, and they um are interested, okay? Because you don't want nobody to kill your vibe, honey, <laughs> literally. Don't let nobody kill your vibration, baby. Okay, and a feeling that something is about to happen or something important is about to come, although you don't know what or you don't know when, which I think they already talked about a little bit. But anyways, go on ahead and check out this um, website. Um, I'm not sure, but also check out um, Kundalini, Kundalini um, uh, symptoms or signs. Um, Check that out because that talks more about the body and some things your body may be going through. Look into books about chakras. Um, look and, 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 you know, basically meditate, meditate and um, look for truth. You know, we've been told so many lies, okay? We've been told so many lies until it's fucking ridiculous. It's crazy. You know, we've been told that we have to eat to live and we don't, you know, um, I'll probably do a video on that, on sun gazing. I sun gaze, and I mean, when I sun gaze, I don't need to eat. I have plenty of energy, and I really, I forget to eat. I mean, you know what I'm saying? We've been told so many fucking lies so that we'll be stayed in lockdown mode on this planet, y'all. Um, Let me see. I'm just trying to think of what else. Oh, I hate to say this because I don't want to sound mean right now. I don't want to sound cruel right now, but whatever your religious practice is, um, suspend all, you know, everything you think you know. Suspend everything you think you know. And um, start doing some, the, the origins of whatever you do, okay? Check that stuff out, um, where it came from, where it originated from. Go back as far as you possibly can. 
And with that being done, you're going to bump into spiritual stuff automatically. Um, try to find out the truth. Is Buddhist the truth? Is Hinduism the truth? Is Christianity? Is that the truth? What about Judaism? Is that the truth? Which one is the truth? Which one will I not burn in hell? Which one will I get 72 fucking virgins? Okay. When I get to heaven, is there a heaven? Is there a hell? Oh, is God white? Is God black? Is Jesus got blue eyes or green eyes or red eyes? I mean, whatever you'll discover all of that good stuff. Now, why am I saying this in the Mandela Effect video? Because I do believe that we, and I'm probably going to do a whole other video on it so I can go deep into detail because I'm going to make it real quick because this thing is already at an hour long. Um, I do believe that um, because we are ascending, we are seeing the Mandela Effects. Um, I believe that we are aware of our surroundings. And also, I believe the consciousness is widening and opening and absolutely awakening. Awakening. We all were kind of dumb, docile, um, sheep for the slaughter, basically. Um, do whatever people tell us to do, meaning our leaders and things like that. And now we're waking up and it's like, wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute. And I believe that the collective consciousness is... Um, it's like a computer is how I see it. Um, we're all into the mainframe. All of our brains, not brains, all of our minds, which would be our consciousness, are connected together. And we're awakening. And some motherfuckers is just dumb as fuck, y'all. And so when shit is being spelled all wrong and shit, that's the dumb motherfuckers we picking up on, y'all. Because we connect it to the same consciousness because we are one. Technically, we are one being that's some crazy shit to wrap your head around but technically you know so you can tap into my brain and get any information you want from me or my life i can tap into your your um brain not your brain but your mind i can tap into your consciousness and i can get any information that i want that's how psychics get it you know what i mean that's how prophets get it if you're into um churchy stuff or um uh prophets or you know whatever seers that's how they get the information it's all science it's all freaking science and everybody can do it okay um so i think that's what's going on y'all with this mandela effect i think that may be a possibility i have like three different things and i'm gonna do a whole another video on that like three different possibilities but yeah so i wanted to definitely put out this video on ascension symptoms so that um you wouldn't be scared or afraid if you feel your body going through these things um just go with the flow and do those things that are instructing you to do and um you'll find other things to do um, your body will tell you what to do as well as when you do your research, when you're getting your books and stuff like that. Um, you'll know what you need to do to make things better for you and for your loved ones, your children, people that you know that are experiencing these things. Okay. <sighs> okay, y'all. <laughs> I didn't mean to make this video this doggone long. I just wanted to make sure the information got out there. If you have any questions or anything, you go on ahead and leave a comment down in the box below. Um, if you want to just tell me something, if you want to tell me some symptoms that you have, you know what I'm saying, that you've been experiencing or your family, somebody you know have been experiencing and you just didn't know what it was, or maybe you do know what it is, please share it. Everybody comes on these pages and we look at each other's comments, y'all, and we need to help one another out. So um, you might even have symptoms that wasn't even on this list that maybe somebody else is having that'll see the video and they read your comment and you can help them out, you know, so leave a comment in there. And if you just think I'm batshit crazy, well, oh well, you can keep it to yourself. Guess what? Stand in fucking line, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, I'm about to let y'all go, finally. And I hope that this video was helpful and useful. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.